Ladies and gentlemen, we take you now by transcription behind the scenes of a police headquarters in a great American city, where under the cold, glaring lights will pass before us the innocent, the vagrant, the thief, the murderer. This is the lineup. Just any of those empty seats. Uh, Quine. Oh, hello, Ben. Uh, which line are you two boys in? Mm, first line, I think. Let's see. Yeah. Tommy Young, number one. Ernest Conway, number two. George Holstatt, number three. Mm-hmm. All in the first bunch. These all the witnesses? Yeah. Hope they can do us some good. May I have your attention, please? Please <laughs> there on the other side of the line in the audience room. May I have your attention, please? My name is Carter, Sergeant Pete Carter. I'll explain the lineup to you. <coughs> Each of the suspects you will see will be numbered. I'll call off a number, their name, and charge. If you have any questions or identifications, please remember the number assigned to the prisoner as I call his name. At the end of each line, when I ask for questions or identifications, call off the number. If you're sure or not too sure of the suspects, have him out. The questions I ask these suspects are merely to get a natural tone of voice, so do not pay too much attention to their answers as they often lie. All right, swing on the line. <laughs> All right, keep it moving. Walk right over the end of the stage. Turn, face front. Hands at your sides. Look straight ahead. That's right. That's a big room out there. A lot of people in it. So you'll have to talk up so everybody can hear you. All right, number one, Tommy Young, murder. Take your hat off, Tommy. Don't look at me. Look at the people. Where do you live, Tommy? Regency Hotel. You'll have to talk up. Regency Hotel. Thomas Young, 16 arrests, two convictions. Grand theft auto, narcotics violation, served eight years and three months, Leavenworth. Year and a day, state prison. Who are you arrested with, Tommy? You know them. Better talk a little louder. You know them. A little louder. You know them. Ah, who are you arrested with? Ernest Conway and George Halstead. They're right back there, standing against the wall. Just keep facing front. We can see them. Well, good for you. You boys work for Lester Udo, don't you? We don't work for nobody. We don't even get along. I guess we're what you call anti-social. That isn't what I'd call it. Oh, that's pretty funny. I hope you have a pleasant stay with us. <laughs> well, that's even funny. Next, number two, Ernest Conway murder. All right, Ernest, come on. Move up the front of the stage. Yes, sir. And take your hat off. Yes, sir. Ernest Conway, 22, two convictions. Assault with a deadly weapon, breaking and entering, served five years at Sing Sing. Who are you arrested with, Ernest? Tommy Young and George Halstead. Any weapons? Uh, yes, sir, I kind of think there was. What were they? Well, near as I can remember, two knives, probably six guns. Any of you three boys ever been in a cigar store on the corner of Lucas and Jefferson? Couldn't say about the other two boys, but I don't smoke. You work for Lester Udo, don't you? Who? Lester Udo. Don't believe I know the gentleman. All right, thank you. My pleasure, Sergeant. Next, number three, George Hofstamp, murder. Get your hands out of your pocket. Where do you live, George? Fine Park. Where? 119 Sutton Drive. You boys sure don't like getting arrested, do you? Depends on who. What's your business, George? Keeping my nose out of other people. And what were you doing in the cigar store last night? Who says I was in any cigar store? Well, you know Ernest Conway. Yeah. Wait till I ask the question. I knew what you were going to... You'll wait anyway. Oh, don't yell like that. You scare me to death. Stand up straight. I'm tired. Asher, show him how to stand up straight. Okay. Okay. How's this? Sloppy, but it'll do. Forget it, Asher. He gets the idea. George Halstamp, 28 arrests, three convictions, grand theft auto, served six years state prison, narcotics violation, served a year and a day county jail, assault, served three years in state prison. How old are you, George? 30. You work for Lester Udo, don't you? No. 
All right, step back against the wall. Hey, are there any questions or identifications from the audience? Uh, hold it a minute, Sergeant. Now, look, folks, you don't have to worry about any of those men. They can't see you. They don't know who you are. If any one of those men have come into your shops and intimidated you, just tell us, and we'll see that they don't bother you anymore. Any questions or identifications from the audience? Well, how about it? Mm -hmm. Mrs. Fisher? No. I don't think I've seen any of them. No, no I, don't, I don't know them. Mr. Henderson, did one of those men come into your shop the other day and try to push you around? I don't, I don't know. I don't think they did. Well, now look, if you recognize one of them, or even all three of them, please tell us. I promise you nothing will happen. Uh, no, no, I, I don't think I've seen any of them before. No, no, I don't... None of you? No. No identification, Sergeant. Folks, I can assure you that these men cannot... Sergeant, no... run on the next bunch. Okay, run them off. Somebody's been killed. All the more reason for not saying anything. They're scared, scared stiff. No. I'd probably be just as scared. They got families to think about. I know it. What do you want to see me for? Because uh, it's going to be a little while before I cool off. And if you're not going to take it out on me. Mm -hmm. Rest of you, though. I'm going to tell him what I think of him. He knows what you think of him, Ben. I haven't ever told him. What do you mean? Sure you have. Not all of it. You better cool down. After I tell him. You think that's a good idea? No. Well, then forget it. He knows it won't do any good. No. Okay. I mean, no, I'm not going to forget it. Then. I know I'm not using my head, but doggone it. Okay, be... okay. You want to come along? Wouldn't miss it. You think it's a mistake, though, huh? Uh-huh. You wouldn't do it, huh? What do you mean I wouldn't do it? Sure, I'd do it, but I still think it's a mistake. If it was up to me, I'd do just what you're doing. But I can't see why you should be as stupid as I am. Well, I haven't pounded a beat in a long time. I could use the exercise. Well, glad to see you, boys. Sit down. Let me get you a drink. No, thanks, Hugo. All right, what can I do for you? Got three of your boys down in the tank. Three of my boys? Young Conway and Halston. Young Conway and Halston. Mm-hmm. Well, I'd still like to know what I can do for you. I got them booked on a murder rap. Young Conway and Halston. That's right. So what's that got to do with me? One of those boys beat up a man named Goldberg. Beat him up bad. Goldberg died. One of those boys did it? That's right. Who says so? I do. That isn't much good, is it, Lieutenant? Can't hold him on that, can it? For 72 hours. Sure, I can't buy you and the sergeant a drink? I didn't come down here to play with you, you know. Well, fine. So I just what did you come down here for, Guthrie? You've been running numbers free and easy in this town for a long time, you know. You've got every small businessman intimidated up to this his eyebrows. This is a sermon, Lieutenant. You pushed him around, scared him to death, and made yourself about four million a year. You say that, too. Huh? Now a little guy named Goldberg doesn't want your lousy racket in the shop, so one, two, or three of your gorillas try to change his oh, mind. Wait, you sir. listen to what I have to say, you Not know. when you're running off at the mouth. You'll listen and like. Not that kind of libel I won't listen to. You go chase yourself out of here. Come back with some proof before you start calling names. You don't like something, then get out. You're out of line, Guthrie. I don't have to sit here and take anything from you. You do. Yeah. Why don't you have us thrown out? No, that's not a bad idea, Sergeant. I think it's a fine idea. I'd love for you to start something. If I did, you'd be back pounding the beat. Might be worth it. You're trespassing without a warrant. That's right. Then get out of here. I swear if it's the last thing I'll do, I'll have you both busted right back to directing traffic. You know something, you don't? I don't think you can do it. I'd like to see you try, though. So would I. Which ones are going to be, you know? Have us thrown out or have us busted? Well, one thing's sure, Guthrie. You and your muscle-bound friend are out looking for trouble. And very honestly, I'm not a bit worried. So try and start all the trouble you can. 
There's no law says I got to sit around while you do it. Oh, you go somewhere? Now, you look, I put up with an awful lot. The lieutenant's got something to say, and you're going to listen to it. Boy, you two-bit flat foot. Who do you think you're trying to cry? I out? don't think you understand. You're you darn don't. right I don't understand. Who put you up to this, huh? Who did? You're both too smart to pull off a stunt like this. Who wants to ride me? You just don't get it, then. No, explain it to me. The lieutenant's in a nasty mood. That's it, huh? That's it. Now you were going to call your boys or have us busted or walk out of here. We say you're going to listen. Well, what's it going to be? Shoot off your face. Go ahead. Get it off your back. You've got a lot of people scared, you know. A lot of people worried about what you might do if they point out one of your boys. One of your boys went a little far this time. I'm going to get him, and I'm going to get you. That's all of it? For a while. Then get out. You get it now, don't you? you get what? We just wanted you to know how much you scare us. anything on him. He's still a citizen. He's got a barrel of income. A rotten barrel? I don't care how rotten it is. It causes trouble. And you're a cop, a servant of the people. You can't go pushing people around just because you're a hothead, no matter who they are. Okay, okay. Oh, what am I talking to you for? Get out of here. Pick you up in the morning? If you get out on the right side of bed. Seven o'clock. Yeah. Van. Yeah? You have fun? (laughs) Yeah, Charlie. A lot. Young and Mr. Holstap, yes. 
But I want you to, to know who our witness is. You have no witness at all? And Henderson has agreed to help us out. He knows just what he's up against. Now, look, Charlie, all he wants is his family to be out of the way in a safe place. Well, we can do that, but then you know how tough it is to... Look, so does Henderson. I'll have three detectives on him 24 hours a day, but I want it to look like he's alone. You don't know Jimmy. He knows uh, you wouldn't let a witness out on the streets without protection. Well, I'm going to put an obvious man with Henderson. When we think one of you those torpedoes are ready to go to work, we'll pull the man off, make it look like he's got lazy... I want somebody to try for Henderson. It's the only way we'll get any of the Udo crowd to tell us about the Goldberg murder. Okay, but how are you going to know when Udo's boy gets ready to go to work? I've got somebody on everybody Udo knows, even his mother. Want some coffee? Oh, I've had seven cups already this morning. No. I think I'm catching cold. Well, everybody's got one. Anything on Udo? Uh, he's laying low. None of his boys have even gone near Henderson. Who's with Henderson today? Ames Fisher and McCarthy. Coins playing it out in the open. Hey, I think McCarthy's wife's supposed to have her baby any day now. Shouldn't you ought to give him a shower or something? Oh, it's Ah, thanks. I just tried to gun Henderson. They're bringing him in now. That Udo tagged in case Conway wants to talk. Okay. Well, morning, Lieutenant. Oh, Ernest. You don't look so happy, Ernest. Too darn early in the morning, Sergeant. I hear you tried to take a shot at our witness. You know something? I should have known better. I must be getting plumb feeble in the head. Knew you had one cop on him, spotted him right away. Then when he went outside for a smoke, I never figured you had more boys on Henderson. Big stupid me just thought how lucky it was that cop went off and left Henderson like that. Well, we all make mistakes on it. Yes, sir, I guess so. But I sure do feel silly. And we're going to try our best to see that you get life. Yes, sir. So you'll have company. Hall, Stamp, and Young will get five to ten. And that ain't much company. Look, fellas... I'm just a country boy, and I put my foot in it, but I figure you got something on your mind or you wouldn't be down here. We want to ask you some questions. Yes, sir. We want to make a deal, huh? We don't have to make a deal. You mean if I was to tell you who'd done that killing, you wouldn't help me out of prison a little earlier? Life's a long time. You turn states, and it's bound to be easier. How much easier? Well, maybe ten with time off for good behavior. We don't know. Well, ten's a lot better than life, fellas. I don't mind doing time because I got plumb careless. But just being a country boy who likes fresh air, I don't think I could stand it for the rest of my life. George Halstead killed that fellow. Who was with him? You got him locked up. Tommy Young? Yes, sir. Where were you? With Mr. Udo. You can ask him. I'm going to. Boy, I sure did make a mistake, didn't I? You sure did, country boy. Want 
tell us about Udo. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll tell you anything you want to know about Udo. Uh, uh, you shut up, Tom. Stella, Stella. How do you expect a fellow to relax with all that noise going on? Uh, Get your clothes on. You're coming down to the station. Where's your warrant? Right here. Mm-hmm. What's the charge? We got a lot of them. We got a new trio down at the station. Singing all over the place. Now, let's go, you don't. Get out of the way. I haven't got time. Make a break. Look out. Uh, I got a gun. I'll take him, Carter. Yeah. Can I help me with you, though? Hey, what's the matter with you? Oh, I think I'm catching your lousy cold. Uh-huh. 